Beverly Hills Plastic Surgery Podcast. Mia Khalifa, thank you for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. We've been excited to get you on. So happy to happy to have you and talk plastic surgery. You've met Dr. Ravello by digital means. <laughs> yeah. That's all we got these days. Yeah, you know? I know. That's what we, that's what we do. Um, so I wanted to talk to you, me about your amazing body transformation that we've been witnessing on social media. I don't know how, like I have definitely gained the freshman 15 <laughs> on my, uh, my COVID-19 <laughs> pandemic. And uh, my doctor was all over me today about that, quite honestly. But, well, it's, uh, about some, it's about time something about you looks your age. <laughs> oh, no. that's like a, it's like a compliment and an insult? It's absolutely a compliment. <laughs> Every time he tells me how old he is, my brain just like explodes and has a meltdown. Yeah, he's got well, some kind of deal with the devil there, for sure. I know. Well, thank you. But the, the pandemic has definitely aged me that way, for sure. So I am, uh, I'm impressed with you because you have definitely taken control of your body in a way that I'm not sure you've ever done. Is that true? Uh, never in my life. And, uh, let me tell you something, nothing will motivate you like a wedding dress. <laughs> and now the wedding is postponed and I don't know what to do because this is not sustainable. Oh no. When was the wedding supposed to be? June 10th. So like I was <gasps> in primo shape for the wedding. <laughs> yeah. That'll and do now it. It's, yep. Now it's next year. Yeah. So, um, not sure. Like, can I let myself go for a couple weeks in the summer and then... Oh, I don't know. Well, well, what if, how, what have how you did you do it? Uh, so I started going to Legree, which is uh, oh, yeah. Pilates on a mega former. And I never really enjoyed working out until I discovered low impact workouts. So um, after really liking Legree, I started going to Rise Nation and I, I enjoyed the workouts for the first time in my life. And it also helps to have like a workout buddy that you go with. Um, I never drove myself to any single workout because I would just get picked up by my friend Mercedes who uh, she was doing it long before me. And then she kind of just like brought me in and here I am. <laughs> I'm not familiar with Rise Nation. What is that? So it's a Versa Climber. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. It's, so it's kind everything of like is so orange theory, but on a climber. I've never been to Orange Theory, um, but I thought that those were more like HIIT workouts, like, like yeah, high, yeah. high intensity. Yeah. See, that's the stuff I realized I don't like just because it hurts my boobies, to be honest. Oh, I could see that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel the and, same. Yeah. And I heard running like makes your skin sag because of how gravity works. I don't know. That's, that's always scared me. And it doesn't feel good on my joints because I'm 80 years old on the inside. Mm, I don't know about that. But I will tell you that your your definition and the the muscle tone obviously is, you know, that that doesn't come easily. So you're doing diet, you're doing exercise, yeah. you're really keeping healthy during a, a locked in pandemic. And that's a very big deal because a lot of people, I, I have had loads of calls for liposuction already. It is like, <laughs> so, like the, no the run doubt. on lipo is in, it's nuts. I mean, people have gained a lot of weight during this pandemic and it's because they're their orange theories are closed and the gym, the equinoxes are closed and the, in the 24 hour fitness, all the stuff that they kind of rely on. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. It's really tough not having your, your life the way that you know it. So it's, it's impressive to me that your choices have gotten you into incredible shape. And from a plastic surgeon standpoint, that is a, that's a very big deal. I mean, most people would make other choices. They'd say, well, you know, I can't do this. I can't do that. It's unhealthy, a lot of the things that, that people are, are kind of falling into. So what was it? The, the wedding dress, yes, I get that. But there's a personal motivation there. What was it that said, I, I'm going to do this now, other than the wedding? Um, so Mercedes always takes before and after pictures. Um, so she takes a photo on the first of every month and she told me to do it the, after I took my first class with her and said, okay, let's try and do this for 20 days this month. Like, let's set a goal like that. So I did that. And then I saw the before and after photo just from going to 20 classes. And that alone motivated me. I was like, holy shit, nice. like, this actually works. <laughs> yeah. And I can kind of still eat whatever I want if I'm in wow. a caloric deficit. So now I work out three, two to three times a day uh, and oh I take gosh. the weekends off. Yeah, but it's, it's fun. It's just like those, yeah. I either do it with my personal trainer or I got a mirror and I do classes on that. Because I don't know how to work out by myself. I need someone to tell me what to do.